So let's talk about multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2, since right now it doesn't seem like Call of Duty wants to do that all that much, but we're getting there eventually. As cliche as soon sounds, it is soon. So today I wanted to lay out for you when you can expect to see our next information drop for Season 2 and multiplayer in particular, as well as fill you in on a few new things here that have been dropped randomly in regards to Season 2 content for multiplayer. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below. What are your hopes for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer in Season 2? If you're new to the channel and you'd like to stay on top of everything, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you in the communities we gear up for Season 2 here. And as we chase down 600,000 subscribers. And finally, again, my friends at Gamer Advantage have a 24% off deal with Code Espresso on a few items. They're the best blue light glasses on the market. And it's the best discount of the year so far, but more on them a little later. For now, let's talk about Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer for Season 2. So here's the thing. I see your comments. I see it on Twitter. I see it everywhere. The last few days, I'm right there with you. Right now, messaging-wise, Call of Duty, officially speaking, has only touched on Warzone. Battle Royale or DMZ, doesn't matter. It's under that Warzone wing here. But they've started to debut bits and pieces of Warzone this entire past week. But having said that, well, up until a few hours ago, quite literally, there's been nothing about multiplayer. So that's the current problem that I see here when I look at this past week of marketing. The problem is the current messaging. You take a paid wing of the experience here, which already feels like it's getting less attention than the other modes. Although, honestly, I'd argue that across Season 1, all of it was neglected. Outside of Season 1 Reloaded, there was no update at all for DMZ, Warzone, zone or multiplayer since the beginning of season one three months ago almost but for multiplayer in particular when you consider that you only have two maps in three months on something that you paid for that's absolutely frustrating and you have every right to feel frustrated with that so the problem arises when you have this imbalance as is but then for three days straight talk about something else it's top heavy messaging that realistically i think that was maybe just put in place to simply try and air quote stop the bleeding that was caused from the added time here of the seasonal delay i mean our first teaser was the 31st, which was, upon previous scheduling, the day before Season 2 was supposed to start, or what we knew of a month ago at that point. So, are they dragging it out and maybe doubling down on discussion on things like Ashika Island earlier than normal in that window leading up to the season's launch? Sure, but the lack of communication on multiplayer, it's again just creating a frustrating scenario. But that said, we already do have multiplayer content penned on the calendar. It's just not been debuted or revealed amidst these recent discussions of Warzone content, and that pending no colossal change here is something that we can count on for February 8th. Next Wednesday and one week from the seasonal launch, it's already been confirmed that we'll see the reveal blog coming for season two. So that means everything multiplayer wise, everything in terms of maybe spec ops, if there's anything here alongside that, maybe a preview of our next raid as well. Also probably debuting and reiterating most of what we already learned about for Warzone, Almazra, Ashika Island, DMZ, Building 21, the mission resets, all that kind of stuff. Everything that we've seen here in regards to Warzone and that sub offering is going to be reiterated, but also debuting all of the new stuff that we'll see in multiplayer, all the weapons, maps, modes, stuff like that. Plus also the full on roadmap is when we're gonna be seeing that as well. So on the 8th, that's when you can expect their probably next official big drop of multiplayer information. I wouldn't be surprised if come Monday or Tuesday, we do see some things here sprinkled in between as a sort of build up to that and offering a little bit more in terms of multiplayer information but if you're expecting a whole ton of information to drop, I wouldn't hold my breath for anything before Wednesday. So in closing on that section, again, while it isn't something that may be the best that we have to now wait a little bit further, we keep seeing sort of the fun and changes being had for DMZ and Warzone. We are just a few days away here from multiplayer still. But in terms of what you can expect, we actually do have a healthy understanding as to what season two will bring, both in confirmed and unconfirmed reports for what we can see, some credibility behind all of those. So of course, first and foremost, ranked play is one big thing that will be coming here within Season 2. The launch date, while neither Treyarch or Infinity Ward has really come out and said, hey, this is coming at Season 2's launch, they have confirmed it with replies to other community members asking about this over on Twitter. So that's something that you can expect this year to come as of Season 2's launch, and it won't be something that will be, say, held off until mid-season or so. Beyond that, we've seen confirmed from Treyarch that we'll see competitive modes, ranked skill divisions, visible skill ratings, top 250 leaderboard, competitive rewards, and everything like that. That. Similar to what we've seen built up over Cold War, over Vanguard, and now coming into Modern Warfare 2 as well. Previously, it was reported on by leakers and insiders that we'd see ranked names of Crimson, Diamond, Platinum, Gold, Silver, and Bronze,
is going from top to lowest there with an additional rank of iridescent somewhere in there but that's some stuff we've seen that maybe goes a little further in terms of that information beyond that as of today we got it officially confirmed that infected will be returning here the party mode that we've seen all the way since the classic call of duty games back with modern warfare 3 that's something that this party mode will finally be launching with season 2 as well now in terms of how long it is around if it's going to be an ltm that goes in and out of the rotation if it's going to be something that is stable as a constant there we don't quite know just yet but infected will be coming as well other variables that we don't have any information on include things like an mgb kill streak if that'll be available at 30 kills if there's any sort of specialist mode granted here with this to me it doesn't feel like infected without that so you know one would hope since we don't have specialist in multiplayer in this game we'll see if that comes along with it as well but then pivoting to unfortunately some confirmed or reported denials of stuff that will be coming i.e stuff that we will not see with season two well, unfortunately, one of the big ones is Gunfight. Charlie Intel reporting and touching on the fact that the full roadmap for Season 2 will be coming as of February 8th. Someone replied asking if Gunfight would be coming, to which Charlie Intel simply just said no. Now, again, as we talked about, I trust Charlie Intel with plenty of stuff. Know the guy personally. He won't put any information out there unless he's 100% sure. And this one is a real big bummer to me. As we've talked about plenty of times, officially speaking, Infinity Ward has never said Gunfight would be coming outside of something that they told us behind closed doors at a pre-reveal press event here before Modern Warfare 2 was even revealed. We've touched on this before, so it won't stay on too long, but they said that this would be something that would be coming post-launch, but at launch, they wanted to focus on things like Prisoner Rescue knockout these new modes that they were building up for modern warfare 2 well i personally don't think that i know too many people that have played those game modes religiously if they've even played them more than a handful of times and i've never really seen it brought up in any sort of community sentiment about fun modes to play with in the community so it seems like those ones were at least from my perspective a little more doa so i would have thought okay that means that what they told us a long time ago means that maybe we'll see this come a little earlier but it seems like right now even through season two we're not going to see anything like that. So at the earliest, perhaps we see gunfight is season three, if it comes at all. But at that point, you're five months into the game. And is that really worth it? If you're somebody that was gunfight exclusive, that was your big selling point for Modern Warfare 2. I don't think that's really going to bring you back five months in. But as it stands right now, doesn't look like gunfight will be returning here. I would love to be proven wrong, but just keep that in mind. And then finally, the big kicker here for me that really hurts is that Charlie Intel, again, also talking just general multiplayer stuff. Yes, we need more multiplayer maps and content. 100% agree. Then he also says, but studios working on resurgence maps are not working on MP content. Also true. Very different teams, entirely different studios working on that. But the final statement he left us with in this tweet was also, if you expect more than two 6v6 maps in season two, just don't. So that is uh, incredible to hear, you know? Because we've been going off on this whole tangent here, and again, I don't want to sound negative, but it's just so goddamn frustrating to look at what we had here with a Modern Warfare 2, a game that has such a high-impact name like that, and we're just getting less and less content year over year for the multiplayer experience. It's actually, like, unfathomable to me that we had Vanguard, a game that gave us a bare bones game, two maps every season. And we're like, this can't get much worse, man. This is going to be a big year for Modern Warfare 2. It's a return form here. We're going to see more content. It's a two year game. And this is what we get. Now, of course, we do know that thankfully both of these will not be remakes. I'm still very salty that one of them, unless it's completely changed beyond all recognition, I'm still salty that Museum is being introduced as a air quote new map for Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 and we saw it in the beta and we had it playable during then. I feel like, again, at that point, we're only getting one 6v6 map. Now, it leaves things like Ground War open-ended. Charles didn't mention anything about that, so maybe there's one or two here that bolsters out the offering a little further. And if we're talking about bolstering out numbers here, we've talked about it multiple times, dude. There's nine maps within Almazra that you can change and that are already classic maps that we've seen in the Call of Duty franchise. Not only just that, but you can take multiple different areas of those maps, of the big scale maps, and make them smaller portions into 6v6. Why are we not doing this? Like, if it's a matter of being spread too thin, you already have a world that you can take parts from. As much as I'd love to see completely standalone maps for 6v6, I'd take anything at this point. So, like, it's just... 
it's just disappointing, man. Like that is the clearest way I can say it. And honestly, when we think about it in that capacity, that might be the reason why we don't have any multiplayer information really officially speaking right now, as opposed to Warzone and DMZ content. Because if they release this statement now, I already can't imagine the uproar if all of this is confirmed as of next week in the 8th. I absolutely know it's gonna be chaos. So giving that another week to breathe, from a PR perspective, I guess I understand withholding that. Other things that we've seen and heard of so far for multiplayer, of course, again, not Castle as a map. That was something that was just a point of interest in Ashika Island. Museum as a map here returning, though they're going to brand it probably as new. Weapons, we've heard of the shotgun and crossbow. Operator Ronan, we saw him already here within the Season 2 key art imaging. So there's still a decent bit that we have yet to see revealed, but from a multiplayer perspective, the sad truth, for me at least, is that I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst when it comes to this so that's where we're at um sorry this kind of deviated into me just venting some frustrations here while talking about some of these topics it's just while i'm usually the positive guy personally i like to think not too much phases me after seeing this franchise and covering it for 10 years or so it's just i i don't understand how we got to where we are on a game that had had no interruptions for three years of development and then just this is the outcome like, it seems like everything was amiss. You have people for three months screaming, hey, please give us some shred of content. And they're like, ah, nah. So that's where I'm at. Just wanted to casually talk about multiplayer. And if you're looking for more multiplayer details, when you can expect them, and of course, what to expect. Because again, like me, unfortunately, I'm expecting the worst, but I'd love to be proven wrong. But right now, it seems like all indications seem like we're going to see almost a repeat for multiplayer of season one. So that's what we're going to call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down below. Before we wrap everything up, a little quick sponsor plug. Check out my friends at Gamer Advantage. As I've said many a times, to me, they are absolutely the best blue light glasses on the market. For years on years, I've been sitting at my desk for like eight to 10 hours a day looking at a monitor, either gaming, noting videos, editing, you name it. The YouTube process isn't as exciting as you might think it is here. So I've absolutely felt the effects of blue light, but having used just about every pair on Amazon, those generic pair you can pick up for cheap, they do not compare in the slightest to Gamer Advantage. Gamer Advantage, dare I say, the advantage of me espresso in my day-to-day -day workflow. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market, and their lenses have clinically proven effectiveness that you can learn all about in the link in the description below. Full disclosure, they are a bit more expensive than those period found on Amazon, but again, as I've mentioned, that quality is 100% reflected in that price differential. Right now, for Valentine's Day and in preparation of that, there are a few frames that have an additional 14% off, but with code espresso, that stacks, so it gets you 24% off your entire order. So now is as best of time, especially in the new year here, but mostly as best of time as any, because these kind of deals don't come along often. So if you guys want to learn more, link in the description below. And if you'd like to pick something up, use code ESPRESSO. But for now, again, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, DMZ, and anything COD related here ahead of Season 2. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.